you know, I'm trying my best to be a good farmer, but my meese keep escaping. You know what I did? I built them an enclosure and they didn't like it. So instead I built them an actual thing because they're so fussy. So up there, I'm going to show you how I built this and how I used real architectural engineering to do it. I also want to see if I can round these things up because they're driving me nuts. They keep going, ah, we'll go this way. So I built this one and then I built this one down here because we're growing um, some stuff. But let's go up the hill and check this out. Made a truck here. I don't know if it looks any good. I mean, you guys can be the judge, but uh, check that out. Got I uh, got some rear view mirrors there. Anyway, have this big garage here. It's pretty cool. But everything here is designed so that you can have the proper amount of daylight. I accounted for drainage as well, which is what this is, which is why it's on the corner section of a roof. But I'll, I'll talk about that in a minute. But if you come in here, you have this garage door. Pretty cool. You have this thing that you can open it with, which is, yeah, that's kind of important. These are slabs and then that's a full block. And then you have these walls here, even though it does look a little bit weird, bit of a bit of a tool shed. Tool. It's not a shed. You have something here in case you want to bring your meats out that escaped and then put them right here instead of having them in the pen. But clearly it doesn't work. He's taunting me. Oh, that wasn't here before. What is this? Is this? Oh, it's a stair. What's what's down here? That's weird. It's a sponsorship segment. Do you not like paying attention in class? No. Would you rather be playing video games, but your laptop sucks? Yep. Then use Awesome to control your PC from your phone. Okay. Play Minecraft Java by mirroring your screen so that you don't have to listen to your professor. Well. Hey, you're not supposed to be on your phone. Oh yeah, professor? I bet you're just jealous because I can play Grand Theft Auto V. The software itself is free and has plenty of powerful features, but there's even more to offer in the paid version. Well. To install, click the link in the description below. Use Awesome to control your desktop, transfer files, print remotely and mirror screens with the click of a button or by using the easy QR code feature. QR For even more features, the Pro and Game version have remote CMD and the ability to control Android devices. Wow. Customize your keyboard and enjoy AFK gaming wherever you go. On a mountaintop? Check. On a plane? Also check. Not just at 60 FPS, Asun goes all the way up to 144 frames per second. That's so many. And not just that, they have smart plugs to control your computer from anywhere so that you don't have to worry about those pesky moose deleting all your stuff. <laughs> the first 200 people to sign up with this code get a free 7-day trial of Asun Remote Game. They have some hot sales happening which means you can get up to 40% off pro or game versions. Get 20% off for 2 devices and 40% off for 3 devices or more. Game anywhere with Asun. Check out the links below. Sunlight up here. We have some sunlight over here, but you'll notice that these ones aren't as frequent as this side. That's because this way is facing east. This way is facing west. We're assuming this is in the northern hemisphere, so the sun is going to rise on this side, go over the south side of the sky here, and then go over that way. In the morning, you're going to get a lot of sunlight in here to help heat up the space because the Mises may be pretty cold. And then over here, you want a little bit less up top here, which is also why it has that shading right there. When the sun is over here in the afternoon, I'm assuming the space is already pretty well heated and I don't want it to overheat. So that's why I have those. And what are you looking at? If we continue down this way, we have the end and this drainage here because I wanted to have some trucks. You open this garage door. It's not a garage door. It's more of a sliding door, I guess. This part is fixed. This is a handle that I just used two levers for. And then up top, we have some skylights there and there. So four in total. These ones are spaced a little bit further apart. Some lights here as well. Notice on this side, you have a smaller door right beside that. You have a door back there and then you have one way over on that side. That's because I'm pretty sure by code you need to have just a normal sized door right beside your big open doors. Anyway, let's move on to these side fins here. I have some on the east side and the west side. You'll never see side fins on the north side, which would be this side over here. The purpose of side fins is to keep sunlight out during certain hours of the day. I know it's actually glass panes and you can't actually see through them, meaning that you can control the amount of light in the space and control your solar heat gain so it doesn't overheat. You will see that the entirety of this building is surrounded by gravel, that's because of drainage. So once you get your rainwater that goes off your roof, you don't want it to come up against your building because water and buildings don't mix well. There's a reason we try and get water away from it. Uh, it can degrade a lot of your stone here, your foundation, and it's just overall a bad idea. That's also why this block is different than this up here. Technically, this should also be that. So uh, that's a mistake. Okay, so this part of the building is going to fall apart and this one's going to be okay. But you'll often see buildings with different materials for the foundation because it repels water quite well. This is a crafting table in cube pack which I use as a water drainage system. So if I'm a raindrop, I go right here and then immediately I go down this way, but oh, look at that. Oh, it shifts that way. So I'm going to go this way and then this way and then, oh, I'm going to end up right here. Where do I go? I just fall off right here and I go in here. It's not going to be very fun if you're trying to get in this door while it's raining. So that's a poor idea. Ha, get it? Poor? 
as in pouring rain. I also have these PV panels, also known as photovoltaics or solar panels. Sun comes here, goes up across this side of the sky and goes there. So they're angled this way to capture the maximum amount of sun. If they were flipped facing north, they would be completely useless. Haha, <laughs> you have no head. Okay, before I show you that one, which is not really designed using architectural engineering, but I'm gonna show it to you anyway. I need to beat up a moose. Okay, now that I have demolished a moose, let's go down here and check this out. Oh yeah, also there's a helicopter down there because I am rich. Not in real life, but you know, in my, I can do whatever I want. This is very much not complete yet. I just threw it together the other day. I used to work at a tree nursery for a summer. It was actually one of my favorite jobs I've ever had. And oh yeah, yeah, see, cool helicopter. I did not build the helicopter. I just adjusted the rotor blades on top to make it look like it's landing. Uh, we're growing rosemary. Anyway, if we go this way, same thing. Big garage door. You have an entrance here. Uh, Rainy built this, my friend Rainy. Uh, he's a curator on cubes. And then back here, I have my secret sports car that was originally red, but I changed it to green because it matched this. And if it was red, it stood out too much. It's a big open space in the middle. You have some skylights. You have a little bit of lighting up top. Again, you have the garage door, same design. You have the track up top, and then you have the chain to open it. Did I put a button here? Ah, I did. Okay. Boop. Oh, it's stone now. Over here, you have an office. Actually, I think I was going to make this into a washroom. This one's a little bit of an office. And then each of these are the entrance to the greenhouse. This is what the inside of the greenhouse pretty much looked like, except these were just like small tree saplings. Up top, you have the structural supports. I decided to make the entire thing glass as well because I wanted something translucent, but I didn't want to make it stand out too much. So I felt glass was a good way to do it. This is the watering system when you don't want to do it by hand. Uh, you can just turn on a button and then it'll water everything for you. On this end, we have some vents that you can open and close depending on your temperature and humidity. If you want to control it, you have the air conditioners or just blowing vents of air, something, something. It'll push the air from this side over to here. There's a bit of an open gap on the other side, so you can have a little bit of airflow, but that's pretty much it for in here. So we'll go back in here and we'll check out the rest. This is an emergency shower. I have a bit of a shower curtain. This is just string, a couple lights up top, another door here, and that's pretty much it. So I gotta go collect my beasts here because they keep running away. Click like if you like this video, click subscribe if you really like it. The first 200 people to sign up with this code get a free seven day trial of Awesome Remote Game. They have some hot sales happening, which means you can get up to 40% off pro or game versions. Get 20% off for two devices and 40% off for three devices or more.